folks. Good afternoon. There, looks like another camping trip could be on. I've just been in touch with the Frankie boy um, and he said he's way up to Edsel to go and look at the uh, the pillbox and see what conditions it is in. Um, I, was, I was actually going to go and see Frankie today. I was going to go, I've got these the vocals to do in the on my songs. I've done that version of uh, Can't Get In My Head and the other one, I've done a version of Proclaimer, Shout, Shout, as well. That just came out of nowhere. And I just uh, did a version of that. So um, I'm going to have to go into the vocals to that one, man. So I might just do that now when I get back in. It's about half past one. So I had to go and take Rosie for a night. She got some new glasses, but she doesn't like the case. So um, here comes a blue key alert, folks. Blue key alert. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> right, folks. Um, I, can't, I can't remember whether, whether I did a, a torch review with this torch that I got from Sainsbury's garage. Uh, the, the other day, hang on a minute, I've got a, I can hear Rosie yakking on it, hang on. Right, there we go. Yeah, so I've got this torch um, because it's got a stealth mode on it, which is a, a red, the red light. It's actually a really powerful light as well, and it charges up uh, from a USB, uh, so you don't need batteries on here. It's got this hook on it as well, so you can hook onto yourself or onto anything else. It's a, got, it's a magnetic base as well. How does this hook work again? Hang on. How's it? Oh, it did work. Let's, yeah, there. So it's got this hook thing, right? So you can hook onto yourself, onto anything else. Um, and as I said, it's got magnetic, so it sticks to a magnetic metal base. The light, I'm going to shine away from you, folks, so it doesn't blind you. It's got three three light modes. It's got this one here, the main one, which is really good. So you can just set it down and have the light as, as like that. So if you're in a tent, you can just have it as a reading light or, or up. Um, it's also got a another mode, which is sort of half... The brightness there. Did you see the camera go a bit strange when they did that? It's got this mode as well, which is the this little one here that will poke you once you can, if you're having a look around in the car or something. And then if you hold this, uh, then it goes off. But then if you hold this red button for three seconds, it goes red. Yeah, stealth mode, man, stealth mode. So you can sneak around in secret. And then if you get yourself into trouble, say I'm stuck down there in the woods somewhere and I fell over um, and I needed somebody's help, then I just do that. There you go, look at that, flashes away. I'm in help, help me. And then off it goes again. And it folds up into this nice little shape. It's really ergonomic. It's made by Toolkit. There you go, Toolkit. Um, and it is, it's uh, it's the best torch I think I've, it's just, uh, I've come across. I and mean, I've got this one here as well, which, uh, which I really like. That's the one that's got the magnifying, that's got a, Thing. So that's, that's quite a handy one. This one's on batteries, that's the only thing. So, but that's what I like about this one is that it's uh, it's really bright and it uh, just uses a USB charger, so you can charge it up in the car, and uh, the light is absolutely bright and it stands. It stands, man, which is excellent, and it folds down as well. So there we go. That's this toolkit light. It was only nine ninety nine, so I thoroughly recommend it. Uh, it's hard wearing, waterproof, all sorts of proofs. Excellent toolkit. There you go, folks. And off we go. That's it. There we go. Fantastic. When I go there, well, you know I'm going to be, going to be the man who's rocking with me. And when I give up, oh, you know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who's near me. Actually banned in America, because in some parts of in America, because they didn't know what the word haver, what the word haver means. There's a line that goes, and when I'm havering, oh, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man that's havering next to you. So they said they didn't know what it meant, but it, they think it had some sort of um, sexual connotations or some sort of uh, some sort of bad connotations. They didn't like the sound of the word. They didn't know what it meant, but they just banned it anyway. 
So uh, the word haver, um, and I remember uh, I used to, when I first got my ukulele, I think it was called Dr. John, I can't remember his name now, this old guy, and he did a version of um, uh, I, would, I Would Be 100 Miles, um, 500 Miles, and I remember when it came to the, the haver line, he said, um, I'm going to have a, I'm going to be the man that havers next to you. So I had to leave a comment on his uh, on his channel saying it's not haver, it's haver. I'm havering next to you, and havering means basically just talking a load of shite, you know. Excellent. Good evening, kitchen life here. You find me a bit of a steamy uh, kitchen here at the minute. I'm making macaroni cheese, man, right? And uh, I've made a bechamel sauce. Once again, it is a fantastic bechamel sauce. Look at this, folks. Look at this. Right, look at this, man. Look. Look at the consistency of this. Oh. That looks so good. Yes, of course it was. And the secret ingredient, of course, there it is. Dijon. Tomatoes ready to go. It's a bit of a messy look. Look at the state. I'm a messy cook. I'm a really messy cook. I am. Look at the state of this place. Messy cook now. But good. Right, folks. So that's the vegetable sauce ready. I'm just waiting for the macaroni to be ready now. And that's going in the pan. Oh, goodness me. That might even be ready, actually. Yeah, that looks good, man. Right, here we go. The edges are just turning that a little bit sort of paler than the other. So that could be ready. Let's just give it a taste. Hang on. Right, folks, so vis visitors appeared halfway through making off that uh, macaroni. So it's ready to coat. It's coming out of the oven very shortly, along with the uh, garlic bread as well. Oh. So my visitor had a taste of the macaroni and he said it was delicious. So he's hoping, folks, that this is going to be a really nice winter warmer tea. Here's the macaroni, folks. Looks okay. Mm. Oh, hang on. We need pure, pure beat radio. There we go. I said. <laughs> 